Hey guys, here's our craft today. It's palm branches that say the word Hosanna. Now what does Hosanna mean? In the Bible, in our story, people were laying down palm branches and saying Hosanna to Jesus. And that comes from a special place in the Bible, Matthew chapter 21, verse 9. It says this, The crowds that went before him and followed him were shouting Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Now why were they saying this word Hosanna to Jesus? Hosanna means praise God, but it means praise God in a very special way. It comes from two old words, meaning save us, we pray. And together it's Hosanna. They were saying to Jesus, you are the one that can save us. And they were saying about themselves, we need saving. Now what about you? Do you know that you need saving? that you have sinned and Jesus paid the price for your sin and you deserve to be punished for your sin, but Jesus came to die on the cross to be your savior. And if you believe he died on the cross for you, he is your savior and you can praise him by saying Hosanna. Now let me read this verse one more time because I'd like you to memorize it at home and do this special craft to help you to memorize it. Let me read it. Matthew 21 verse nine. And the crowds that went before him and that followed him were shouting Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Now let's do the craft. All right, for today's craft, you're actually gonna need five pieces of paper and a string or rope or something to hang it from. All right, so one of your pieces of paper, one of the five needs to be white. You're gonna use that to write the words on and right away, just put it aside so you don't get it mixed up with your other pieces of paper. All right, your other four pieces of paper, if you have colored paper, you wanna use green for the palm branches. I like using two different colors because I like how it looks. If you only have white paper, that's fine. I'll tell you when you can color these. So start with your first piece of paper. You're gonna fold it in half this way. And then width ways. like that. Now, just go ahead and do that with your other three pieces of paper. All right, so we have our four different folded pieces of paper. Now I'm gonna take one of them and you just wanna make sure that the seam is on the top and on this side. We're gonna draw on this side. So take a pencil and you're going to start from about here and about that far and just draw a straight line about like that to the bottom. Then you're gonna draw the palm branch. So it's going to go out and then you're going to bring it right up to the corner. All right. Well, I think that's a little bit too wide for a palm branch. So just because I'm going to cut out all this, I can just do it a little bit until I like it there. I kind of like that look more. So I'll just cut along that line. Okay, so now there should be two pieces of paper. So take one of them out and you're going to use this to draw the rest of them. Now for this one, what you're gonna do is take your scissors and just, you're gonna make the actual branches. So you just take little straight cuts in. So as I get wider, I take 
uh, farther cuts in, and then as it gets to the end, I do little shorter cuts. So it will look like this. All right, so now for your next piece of paper, you're gonna do the same thing, make sure the seam is on the top and on this side, but this time, because you saved this piece, you just get to trace it. So go ahead and trace this out on all your pieces of paper, and then you can just cut them all out all at once. All right, so you should have seven different palm branches and the one that you were using to trace. This one you don't need anymore, so you can get rid of that. All right, next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your white piece of paper that you've been saving, and you're gonna fold it the same way that you were doing for your palm branches. All right, now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna draw a circle, two circles, that will go in the middle of the palm branch for you to write your letter on. Um, because I want my circles to be perfect, I just grabbed something that I could trace. All right, so we have eight different circles here. Hosanna has seven letters in it, so you don't need one of those. All right, now we're gonna write the word Hosanna. And the way you spell that is, I'm just gonna do capital letters for all of it. H-O-S-A-N-N. All right, so we got Hosanna, and we're just going to now glue them on whichever palm branches we want. So the palm branches are going to be pointing down. And because I have two different colors, I'm just gonna lay them out right away so that I know which order I want my letters to be. And then you just take a glue stick and you just glue it right there in the middle. Okay, next what you're gonna do is you're just going to take this top leaf and you're just going to bend it backwards and crease it. So it looks like that. All right, and the last thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna take whatever string you have and you're gonna put the letters on in the order to spell Hosanna and as far apart or close together as you want. So you're just gonna, the place where you folded it, you're just gonna put a little dab of glue and you're gonna just fold it over the string and glue it to itself like that. All right, and there you have your banner Hosanna.